think people need to realize we've done episodes on this, but I, I could take all the gear in the world and I wouldn't ever, I wouldn't look as good as a top pro bodybuilder when they're natural. And I can train all day long like Usain Bolt's and I'm still going to be ass dirt slow. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, right. So, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I want to I want to take you another direction right now and uh, you said I'm going to back you up because you said something great earlier on and I want you to elaborate on it before I take you that other direction. You said that uh, I don't see color. There's only good people yeah. and bad people. Yeah. And I think that's really special and unique coming from someone like you that's probably dealt with discrimination and things uh, like that. I want yeah. you to elaborate. Especially in fr- where you're from. Wasn't that like the... Right. Was it, Ku Klux Klan. There was a KKK. F-14, was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. F-14s. Uh, yeah. But the KKK, the police officers, I, I witnessed to my, my older brother being beaten a lot by a police officer and I would just stand there and he would just like, run, Kenny, just run. Don't... don't. And I, I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm a little kid, but I want to jump in there and try to help him. He's mm-hmm. just getting his ass stumped, you know? And I'm like, and he was just like, no, just, just turn away. But what I recognize, just because you have some officers who are bad, that don't make all of them bad. It's a very honorable thing. And that's why I want to become one. When everyone's running away, they're running towards, you know, uh, they're the worst person you want to see. You don't want to see them at all. Fuck you, officer pig, but you got a problem. Who are you calling? Mm-hmm. You know, so I respect that. And, and at a young age, I understood that just like I understood all white people aren't bad. And when they betray all black people bad, all black people aren't bad. But I know some, right? Mm-hmm. So I, again, identified it's just good and there's bad. You know, good and bad police officers, good and bad white people, black people. I've had worse happen to me from black people than I have white people. You know, so I just understand that there's just good and bad. So I find it. I find it. Uh, here's the, when I see stuff like that, like right now, what's happening right now with uh, with Kaepernick yeah. and, mm-hmm. and, and and Nike. Here here's we go. here's <laughs> yeah. Here and by the way, we talked about this a little bit. The other day. <laughs> That's when I knew I really liked oh. it. I really liked like. But here's the thing: it's like you have a you have a situation that happens, but then you have politicians and people with power who use that situation to separate everybody yeah. as much as they possibly can because when you can separate people they're easier to manipulate sure, you can pick them off absolutely so a guy like kaepernick who is peacefully protesting whether you agree with him or not right. that's what he's doing he's peacefully protesting but politicians are turning it into it's a it's against cops or it's against all that's cops right, yeah. or it's against the military yeah so now you've got like these two camps and people feel like they have to take a side yeah like you either like the military or you or you're you're pro minority or pro military it's like mm. you can be both yeah you know yeah um yeah so yeah i i i, I seen the post I actually a friend of mine showed me the post I'm like oh my god i was eating at the protein house and one of the owners showed me like oh my god are you kidding so i'm like fine i need to find a picture so i found it and i i i posted it and um yeah it went viral and it was very controversial and and it, it illuminated something I already knew. You know, they say, you know, here in the United States, we have a right to protest, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. I've always known that was a lie. And, you know, I've done under the post that, that I got ripped apart about. And I just, I find it interesting that some of the messages I got, I got some military people saying, hey, you know, F you, you know, you don't support the military. I don't support you or officers or, you know, don't piss on the flag and all that. And I'm like, exactly when did I say that? And I didn't respond to everybody because mm-hmm. it's just, I think it's over 400 comments now. But I'm like, exactly when did I say that? So they're identifying to me and Cap because I guess Cap may have said some negative things about officers or wore pigs on his socks. Sure. I, I, I respect him and I stand behind him for the stance that he's taking about, you know, equality. Sure. So just because I represent him or I respect him on that, I have to respect him on all his views. That's really interesting because I respect officers. But I don't respect all officers because of their views, because I know there's good and there's bad that's happened. It's proven. So if I have to take a side and a person's done bad things and good things, then it makes me a part of all that, then I guess I shouldn't respect any officers because bad things have happened. I guess I shouldn't respect any military because bad things have happened. I guess I shouldn't respect our flag because bad things have happened. I guess I shouldn't you know, respect the national anthem because I know the real first national anthem that was written when it had slaves in it. You know, I don't know if you guys do, but you can research it. You know, when the uh, British came over and the United States already had slaves and the British said, hey, listen, any of you slaves who want to be free, come fight with us and you'll be free forever. And that's what happened. So none of that bothers me because I understand that I can respect a person for one part of what he's what he's saying and not the next you know, other thing. It doesn't make everybody wrong. And now I've been balled up that I'm anti-American and, 
you know, I even had my my team look at it and as of right now, I've lost over 600 followers because of it. And I'm like, I, that doesn't bother me. You know, the way I look at it is whether you agree or not, I mean, I'm not a big Kaepernick fan. I'm not a big football fan, period. Mm-hmm. I, I don't really watch the sport. And I'm not a huge Kaepernick fan just because I saw him wear a, a Che Guevara shirt. And, you know, it's, that, that to Who me that? seems ignorant. I heard about that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and, yeah, but, yeah. Here's a, but here's the thing. Uh, you know, I have a very good, very, very close friend who's a, a veteran. Mm-hmm. And he told me, he goes, look, the, the very reason why we I served is to fight for people's right to protest. Mm. So whether I agree with him or not, I will always fight for someone's right to be able to do that. Yeah. Now, of course, the NFL is a pro, you know, private organization. They yeah. can fire him over it as well. Yeah. But I just think it's funny how well, I took people the, divide so strong. Yeah. I, I actually took the, the opposite side with the intent of stirring the pot. <laughs> okay. So I actually I posted a, a Pat Tillman meme that people had already gone viral, and I already knew there was a bunch of – it triggered a ton of people. And I wrote, I wrote under it, I said, uh, better, um, same message, better yeah, man. same message, better man. And then I, and then I, uh, did a, a funny meme on Kaepernick knowing damn well what I was going to do. Right. And I stirred, stirred everybody up who started sending stuff to me. And I said, whoa, 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 I'm not choosing military here and I'm not choosing what, what he stood up for. In fact, I'm pro what Kaepernick stood up for. In mm-hmm. fact, I think that he, I'm, I think that's awesome that he stood up for that. Right. What I'm trying to unveil to everybody that's listening and watching, watching me on Instagram is the last post that I did after that, which was when I showed how much Nike is getting right now oh. from all the advertising. <laughs> exactly. yeah. 48 million, which is more money than Kaepernick is going to get paid. So Nike used Kaepernick as a pawn in this situation. Mm. And they really don't give a fuck about his cause. I don't care what how they pitch it and they, they say it. They care about making money that's their business and Mm. they're supposed to Mm. meanwhile they're dividing all of us as a nation and here we are arguing and even having this conversation because of 